गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लैक ओपेरन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो व्हाट इज एन ओपेरन एन ओपेरन इज अ डीएनए यूनिट दैट कंटेन्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ जीन्स दैट आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय अ सिंगल प्रोमोटर so what we know in case of eukaryotes a single gene is always under a single promoter but in prokaryotes the principle is little bit different in this case many genes could be there under a single promoter and it is called as operon which is an unique feature of prokaryotes only the genes in an operon are either expressed together or not at all expressed operon is found only in prokaryotes jack monod and francois jacob discovered the lac operon in 1960s let's talk about the structure of operon so here we have the basic structure p means this is the promoter and this is upstream of this that means this promoter this is the promoter of this gene i and this i gene is basically the regulatory gene this is the inhibitor okay so here we have the promoter of this i gene this is the regulatory gene this is the inhibitor gene we will talk about its role in a couple of minutes next is another p this is another promoter and here we have the operator we will see its function and here we have three genes these three genes are actually these three genes are structural genes z y and a and this promoter is basically the promoter of these three genes this promoter regulates the expression of these three genes hence this is an operon these three genes are under the control of single promoter right okay so here we have the structure of operon promoter of small i then regulatory gene inhibitor small i then promoter of structural genes then operator and then structural genes z y a one more thing we have to know here that lactose is used in this case as inducer we will see its function and this i gene that is the regulatory gene or this is the inhibitor gene it codes for the repressor and the three structural genes z y and a they code for like z gene codes for b galactosidase or beta gal which is responsible for the hydrolysis of lactose into galactose and glucose we know that lactose is a disaccharide which is made up of galactose and glucose so this beta gal is required to break down lactose into galactose and glucose and this beta gal is synthesized by the z gene y gene codes for permeas which increases permeability of the cell to lactose since lactose is an inducer it has to enter the cell and its permeability to the cell is increased by permeas which is encoded by y gene last is a gene which encodes a trans acetylase the function of trans acetylase is not very well known now when the carbon source lactose is present 
in the growth medium of bacteria the lactose is transported into the cells through permeas since we know the role of permeas it helps lactose to enter the cell so when lactose is present in the growth medium of bacteria it will be transported into the cell through permeas now a very low level of expression of the lac operon has to be present in the cell all the time otherwise lactose cannot enter the cells right since a very low amount of permeas should be always there in the cell to help lactose to enter into the cell now what's the role of the repressor this i okay the repressor of the operon is synthesized all the time that means it is the constitutive expression it will be always expressed now this is the repressor mrna and this is the repressor protein expressed from this i gene it will be always there in cell now this repressor binds to the operator region this repressor binds to the operator region and prevents rna polymerase from transcribing the operon actually here we have the promote promoter rna polymerase generally binds this promoter and once it binds this promoter the transcription of zy and a genes will be there but here the repressor binds to the operator and the space is blocked so the rna polymerase is not able to fit here properly and the transcription of this z y and a genes will not occur okay now in the presence of an inducer that is lactose so i have mentioned here that lactose is the inducer now we will see what happens if lactose is present in the medium and it is able to enter the cell at that time the lactose is the inducer it binds this repressor and makes the repressor inactive so in the presence of an inducer that is lactose the repressor is inactivated so at that time the repressor is inactivated once it is inactive it cannot bind this operator and the space is now free so the rna polymerase can easily bind here and the transcription goes on so the z y and a genes transcription will occur so here is the lac mrna and after transcription translation will be there so beta gal from z permeas from y and trans acetylase from a these three proteins will form easily and what they will do so they will basically do their function like z gene codes d gal so beta gal will break down lactose into galactose and glucose so they will do their proper functioning in the cell and the regulation of lac operon by repressor is referred to as negative regulation because a repressor protein is bound to the operon by default shutting it off this means that the lac operon is off unless lactose the inducer is present so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video